Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Good morning, gentlemen. How we doing? How we doing? Puster, what are you doing? You guys causing problems. Let me tell you guys, today is a beautiful day. It almost feels like autumn is getting closer and closer. So here is currently Dox's stall. As you can see, they're in the process of moving things out. There's just a few things that's left here from weather that we're still in the process of moving over. And if you didn't know, weather is moving into Tucker's old stall and Doc's is moving into weather's old stall. So let's check out weather's new stall. Ooh, as you guys can see in that video where we were moving some square bales that we leveled this off, it looks pretty good. They cut the mats to fit now. So everything is cut to fit and it looks good. Just needs a cleaning. Huh. That's some foreshadowing. <sighs> And as you can see right over here, we've got a little bit of Weather's new stuff moved on over. Just you got your saddle pads, your saddles, and everything's covered with a nice roof so that there's no dust going on. And even a fly mask holder, which is super nice to see. And something that's nice about this stall is it even has a skylight. Ooh, fancy. So that is good stuff to see. If Phylon wasn't so expensive, we probably would have that in all the stalls to let light in. You know, it's very expensive and it's also not as strong as sheet metal. So enough talking. What do you guys say we feed some horses? We got Poncho and Docs are hungry and ready. Obi's right here looking beautiful as ever. You said it, Danny. And it's time to get feeding. You know what's great, Gavin? What? Feeding the donkeys. Oh, whoa! Are you guys ready for some food? Here we go. Bucket one, who gets it? Looks like it's Rocky. A lot of the comments said Dave, though. We're not starting this again, Gavin. That's Rocky. There you go, Buster. Oh, looks like Rocky wants that one. Greedy, Dave. Gavin, don't start this again. So, some exciting news, guys. We're actually feeding docks inside the barn now. Hey, buddy, good morning. You ready to be fed inside the barn? <laughs> oh, he's such a cutie. Okay, all right, come on, bud. He's like, I don't know where I'm going. It's funny, because most horses, when they don't know where they're going, they're like, I, I know where I'm going. And then they just get lost. And then there's some that even when they're lost, they're like, I'm not lost. I'm, I'm just wandering with, with the point. He just came right up to me. He's like, bro, I don't know where I'm going. I knew this guy was gonna be awesome. I let him out the gate. He went out, turned right around, and just looked at me. <laughs> yes. That's awesome to see. We'll let the rest of the horses in like normal. Do you guys think Casino has learned his stall? Hey, Gavin. Yeah, he has. Okay, good deal, good deal. Let's see, let us know if he actually does. Okay, sure thing. All right, next up is the poncho. And you guys know what we say when it's time to let in poncho. Poncho power, woo! I also just wanted to address this random point. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah. I always try to get a little excited about things that really aren't that exciting because it makes you kind of feel better about your day. If you're able to enjoy the boring menial tasks, then when the good stuff really does come along, you're thrilled. Just like it's time to let in the middle field. See how exciting that was? Come on, boys. Look at all you pretties. Looking good, Gents, looking good. Rebel, you're dirty. Man, he's really dirty. He's going, he's going. Oh, oh so close. So close. <laughs> Man. So it's gonna be a little hard for him to tell just because it, Spitfire's fed the same grain he is. So the taste is the same. There you go, buddy. But that's definite progress, so we're happy to see it. Declan, where did Obi go? Obi, you're back there. Let's let in these beautiful horses, huh? There you go, Danny. Hey, Declan, Samson, Obi, and Duke, Spitfire, Skywalker, and Weather. Oh, Weather may, may not know where his new stall is, so let's grab him. Hey, Roni. Hey, Argento. Oh, Argento, come here. <sighs> yep, we're leading you too. That's it, there you go. Hey, Gavin. 
We're still working out that abscess on Gavin, but he's doing a lot better. He does have a slight limp, which he's now exaggerating literally now that the camera's on him. <laughs> oh, that horse. Hey, William, nice of you to join us. Oops, sorry, bud. I scared him. I was itching my head with my hat. Good deal. All the horses are in and eating. Woo! Awesome. We're off to a strong start for today. What do you have to say, Docs? Huh? What do you have to say? Man, you are a lover through and through, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> do you guys know what time it is? It's donkey time. All righty, guys. You ready? Come here. Yeah, come here, you cutie. Rocky, you've gotten so much better at letting me put the halter on you. You know that? All right, Buster, do you want the rope? Yeah? No? Don't want the rope today, Gavin. That's new. Come on. Come on. I know. I know. Oh, my goodness. Mind the gap. Mind the huge board. Here we go. Buster, ready? Rocky, one hoof at a time. Buster, shows him who's boss. Let's go. Oh, oh, we're off. And we're proceeding out of the barn in an orderly fashion. Everything is as it should be. Mind the gap, Rocky. Go ahead, Buster. Makes the leap. What, athletes? Let's go. That's right, boys. Oh, we're excited today. We're really excited. Wow, we're really excited. Oh, let's slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Oh, here we go. I get asked a couple times why it is that we use a halter and a leader rope when leading out the donkeys and not the horses. The simple answer is because they're donkeys, not horses. <laughs> That's, that's the easiest answer I could give you. If you want a more in-depth answer is basically if we let them out without the halter and lead rope, they wouldn't go here. They would go everywhere but here because they know this place. So why would you go someplace you know when you can go literally everywhere else, you know? At least that's what they think. So we lead them out so that we're not spending our entire morning feeding, chasing donkeys. Though it would be entertaining for you guys, we would never get anything accomplished. So that's why we lead them out with the halter and the lead rope. So we're now rope. we're at daily care. I'm gonna be handling that <laughs> while Joel goes and fixes a problem at the round bales. Ooh, so let me show you what's going on with our round bales. Also wanted to show you the new gearbox. Doesn't that look spicy? Oh yeah. So she's back up and running and ready to go. And that's what we like to see. are acquired. I need this to move the bales without spearing them. So let's go show you the problem. So, if you haven't guessed it already, this is the problem. I could tell that from this just falling, it probably penetrated the bales in a couple places. Now this fell during the rain event that we had last week where we got a lot of rain. We haven't gotten rain since then, so I knew I didn't need to rush on this, but we do have a lot of rain forecast for this week coming up. So I wanna get these round bales, this one, this one, that one, and that one, these four taken out of here because any holes that's made can rot these bales out. If these bales rot, then that's four less round bales. That's the equivalent of a little over 80 square bales that we just lost. And we can't have that with this season being the way it is. We're gonna scoop these up with the pallet forks, check them out, see how they are. Any ones that have no holes on them, we'll store back at the stable outside. Any that do, we're gonna put inside the tractor shed. And then of course, we'll be feeding one or two today, depending on how things look with Gavin back at the stable. Let's scoop them up and bring them home, shall we? I just wanted to take this moment to ask you guys if you've hit that like button. If you haven't, just make sure you do because it helps the video and the channel grow. But also, only if you actually enjoyed the video. If you didn't, then you don't have to, even though it would still be kind of nice. All right, let's see how the tree did. Oh, yep. There's one mark, there's two marks. This side looks relatively untouched, but these two marks right here, water will get right in there on that. Oh, three marks, four, four marks. These four marks right here, water will get right in that and rot half this bale out. 
and then the remaining other half will all mold up from all the moisture that's stuck inside there. That's why we're doing this. This one's gonna have to be put under cover or fed today. Joel is getting the round bales from that field. I'm out here in the big field checking if it needs hay, put it simply. Still holding up amazingly. Whoever did that, geniuses. got a huge gash in it. This one has four holes in it. This one's got a huge gash. And ironically, four holes. Seems to be the, the going thing. It's time to cut some hay. <laughs> that bale looks great. And Gavin has informed me that we are putting two bales out. By the way, how did that hay look? Was it wet or dry? So dry. Beautiful, then we're good because otherwise, this bale that we're putting out in the big field would be completely wasted from that rainstorm that's coming. We're supposed to get rain all night Sunday and all day Monday into Tuesday again. Ready to dump a bale? Twice. He's asking you, not me. Gavin approved. We need old red. Joel? That's pink. Why do you think we call it old red? You see, Argento went into a stall this morning, mainly because I made him go into his stall. This was this was how he got back at me. Ah! <laughs> I forgot a little turd. Ready to go out then? I just got back from moving all those round bales. Gavin, thank you so much for helping feed and, well, pretty much feeding this morning. But uh, that's gonna be it. All the horses are turned out. So now it's time to move on to a special surprise. There's a chicken over here. What are you doing, chicken? Whoa, it's a mountain chicken. Joel? The chicken has a name. Her name is Phil. Oh, Phil almost fell. Phil falls. You guys might be wondering why does that chicken look messed up? It's because Phil isn't liked by Phil's family and Phil's family's mean to Phil. And that's why Phil is no longer with Phil's family. So Phil came over here to experience a more stable life. So I'm just gonna leave Phil there for now. You'll see Phil randomly from time to time in the video. Goodbye, Phil. So we're actually helping the owner of Weather move this cabinet that they seem to want, it's too big, from their old stall to their new stall and then pretty much Docks' stall is pretty much 100% ready for docks. Yeah. 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 Voila. We fastened it to the wall for her, got it in the corner. Good job, Gavin. So now they got a massive tack box, a skylight, and another thing. I don't know what you'd call that, a wardrobe? 
closet? I don't know. But one thing's for certain, this is definitely the Taj Mustal. <sighs> so now that that's done and out of the way, we're gonna be able to move on to our special project. This, this wasn't that, just in case I confused you. You guys remember Giraffe Tools? They're the ones that sent us that awesome hose reel. Well, I've really enjoyed working with the company and I really like the product they sent. So they actually sent me another thing over. Uh, it's a, actually a pressure washer. Specifically, this is the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro with 100 foot auto retract hose. Let's open this up and see what we got. So we got a couple attachments. So this does come with actual foam cannon and a level and some mounting kit and nozzles. I'm sure we'll find out what this thing is for. Where you, this is where you put the soap, so for the foam cannon. Get rid of that box, Gavin. <laughs> Looks like we got a lead hose similar to the other one. So just in case you're wondering, the way that this works is you mount this to a wall wherever you want to use, and then you're going to plug it in. So this does not run on gas or a mix of fuel. So this is supposed to have a pressure rating of up to 2,500 PSI. We're gonna test that out. I'm really excited to actually put this to use. This is their Pro Series. Let's see how much stuff we can clean. I know you guys have been saying that we've been needing to clean a lot in here, so I'm excited. To start, what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on getting this mounted. Now, what's nice is the uh, back plate, which is steel, we can mount, and then we'll just slide this right on top. So it's easy to put on and take off if you're using this in the winter in an outside location. The next big question that's gonna be in your mind is where do I mount this? So uh, for us, we were thinking we could mount it out here and actually just put it right next to the hose reel on this side here and put it right there. But the problem is that we're actually planning on using the pressure washer for cleaning out a lot of the barn. And the hose should reach both ends of the barn from this point right here in our barn, which is where we store our hay. So we're better than our feed room because we have access not only up top and straight out both ends of the barn, but we also have access all along the aisleways because using this pressure washer, we're going to be cleaning the entire stable. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we're gonna mount it actually right here, which is a pretty good spot. Now it's just a matter of uh, making a good mounting surface. These are two by sixes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some boards on the other side where the hay is at so that these lag bolts can go through those and have a strong mounting surface for our pressure washer. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole and then we're gonna brace the other side with another board so we have enough length for our lag bolts for this to be held on step. We want it not low enough that you're gonna be kicking it and not so high that it's too high for you. So we're thinking about arm height. Similar to last time, they include lag bolts as well as anchors if you're mounting into concrete or metal, but we're gonna be mounting into wood, so we just need the lag bolts. So we're matching these up with a nice size drill bit so we don't split the wood. <laughs> Phil! <laughs> Phil! It is okay, Phil! <laughs> Clearly, Phil is not okay. Phil is upset. There we go. So that's level right there. We're just gonna start it nice and easy till it threads on, which it does. And then we're just gonna go around. There we go. Now, if we're really fancy, if we wanted to, we could just put this socket onto a drill and just drill it right on. To be honest, the socket's in my car and I just don't feel like going back up there and, and getting this. So what we're doing is we're just gonna do this because this isn't that big of a deal either. Nicely done, Gavin. I, I didn't do anything. But nicely done, Joel. The next part is very challenging. And by challenging, I mean extremely easy. Let's go ahead and just mount the pressure washer. There you go. That's on? Yeah. Wow. That looks really clean, doesn't it? Wow, that looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is electric. What I'm going to be doing is taking a outlet, wiring in a brand new outlet that is gonna go uh, probably right along this post down here and then hook in here and in case you're wondering the plug actually has a GFI on it So uh, you don't need to mount this to a GFI that being said uh, For this specific situation. I'm gonna be putting a GFI outlet in you just can't go wrong with having that protection there Especially when you're dealing with something with water near electricity for today However, and for the testing purposes because we are always short on time uh, what we're gonna be doing is just mounting this up so it has electricity and then demonstrating its use. Because I'm really excited, I wanna get cleaning. It does come with a number of nozzles for whichever you wanna use. And what these are is if you look right on the plug, 
the camera can focus on that. It tells you the degree of the angle. So orange is 15 degrees, red is zero degrees, white is 40 degrees, and green is 25 degrees. Right. And this end's just gonna screw on here, and we're just gonna thread this on, and then this end just mounts right in like that. Basically, your, your conventional pressure washer, if you've used one before, this is all gonna feel very familiar to you. Goes right on the back like that. And then the foam cannon gets stored just like that. I've got some news for you guys. Phil has a friend. What should that one's name be? Let us know. Gavin, what do you say we start getting some water sent in? Ow! All right, we have no leaks with the water coming in here. This is the leader hose that they have. And there is a filter that they send that we hooked on the side here so that if there's any uh, particulates that are coming through our water supply, it doesn't get trapped inside the pressure washer. Now the power switch is right over here, but we're not gonna turn that on yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this on out so we can get all the pressure out of that hose. And then we'll have uh, Gavin do the honors of turning it on and see how powerful this really is. Now this is something I know you guys have been wanting to see for a really long time. Mm, Gavin, you think we should put a different nozzle on? What do you think? We're using a 40 right now. I think we should bump it down to a 25, or what do you think, a 10? Zero. I don't wanna put a hole through the bucket. How about 15? The number just keeps getting bigger. When does it end? Well, I'd say that's a world of improvement. Oh my word, my camera. So you might be thinking, with this type of thing, probably drains a lot of power. This pressure washer is designed actually to save power. So you can see when Joel stops, it turns off on its own. But when he starts using it, it restarts. There we go. I wanted to show you guys how Spitfire stall looks now. So I cleaned this off. And I left sections for you to see. So this is cleaned, not cleaned, cleaned, not cleaned. So it does an absolutely fantastic job. We're gonna do a lot more cleaning here after lunch, but for now, we're gonna go take break for lunch. All righty, Gavin and I just wrapped up lunch. We had some pretzels. Lunch of champions, if I might add. Oh yeah. So let's get back to it. We got some cleaning to do. Are you ready? For today, the goal is to clean the aisleways. So we've got about an hour and a half, a little bit less, work on finishing up cleaning this before we have to do afternoon feeding. And to start, what we're gonna do is we're going to need a special tool. Oh yeah, the handy dandy leaf blower and the leaf blower wielder. If I use the leaf blower to blow leaves, does that make me the leaf blower? These are the big questions, aren't they? Using the leaf blower to clean up the aisleways, and because we're in a horse stable, there's going to be a lot of dust. And so what we do to keep the person running the leaf blower safe is we have a special mask right here that we're gonna use for Gavin, so that way he is good to go. You wanna put this on? All right, so this is a professional grade mask. Gavin's gonna be making quite a lot of dust, so we're gonna send him off. He's going to clean off all these aisleways. Let me just give you a good look at how it looks before we clean it. So we're gonna get all the hay, all the dried manure, dirt, and dust off. And then I'm gonna come through right behind them and pressure wash them off clean.
What is she doing walking through our work site like that? I don't know, but she's getting dirty hoof prints everywhere. We just cleaned this hallway. Man! Take a look at this. We got this section cleaned off. It looks so much better. And we're outside the barn and we're about to start feeding horses. So Gavin's working on blowing off some of the other areas, but we won't be able to pressure wash them today due to time. However, my tractor has been needing to be cleaned for quite a long time. Now that is one clean rim. This is how it'll look once the whole barn is cleaned this way. And this is how the aisleways look right now. And then down there, Gavin cleaned off a section with the leaf blower. I definitely think that this will be a fine tool to use here at our stable. And a big thank you again to Giraffe Tools for sending this over for me to use. I wasn't paid for this, but they did send over the unit for me to use and to tell you guys about. So that's really awesome to see. Now we're gonna be getting started with afternoon feeding. How do you feel about cleaning the barn? Great. Now all we have to do is just clean a stable that can fit 23 horses. Easy peasy. So interestingly enough, all the horses that came in for this side were extremely scared of the aisleways because to them it looked like the aisleways were gone because they're so clean and dark. Noses to the ground snorting at it and pretty much every horse that's down here went running back away from this area. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be it for today. We just finished turning out all the horses. So that means that we've hit the end of the video. I know, woo! So crazy, so crazy. It's been a big one, but super happy about the improvements and looking forward to seeing just how good this stable looks once we're done. But I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you guys haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to keep up to date on all future videos. And if you'd like to get a notification when I post a new video, just make sure you click that little ring button. It'll let you know when I post a new video. A special thank you to Giraffe Tools for sponsoring this video and for sending over that pressure washer. There's gonna be a special link that's in the description below that'll take you over and let you know a little bit more about the product. Don't forget to leave down in the comments <laughs> what will be the name of the other chicken other than Phil. That's important to know. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Ow! I'm a noob, I can't go bro. <laughs> Oh, we're tired. I'll see you guys. Says you. <laughs>